has just announced Record Box 6 and people are pissed. As you may have heard, the DJ world has recently been shook. Pioneer has announced an update to their very popular record box software, and people are quite frankly pissed. Man, this is some bullshit! Boo this man! Now, I am personally a Serato user, so I am just sitting back with my popcorn and watching all these DJs hammer at Pioneer. But that got me to thinking, why is everybody pissed? I know the big headline just says that Pioneer has switched to a subscription model. They want to be the Netflix of DJs. They want to charge you every single month for using their software. And at the heart of it, that's why people are pissed. They are not happy that they now have to pay a monthly fee. So let's explore Record Box 6 and try to make light of everything. Let's check out the pros the cons, the new features, and find out if it warrants that monthly subscription price. This is coming from a totally neutral position. I do not care about record box, so all the statements that I am saying are totally unbiased. So let's take a look to see if DJs have a point to be pissed or is what Pioneer DJ offering totally worth the price. Let's take a closer look at record box six. So this is a video that I found on DJ Mag's YouTube channel. It's it's more or less an overview of Rekordbox so I can just digest all the features that they have. This is Rekordbox 6, the latest version of Pioneer DJ's music management and DJ performance software. Version 6 is by far the most significant update to the popular- Man, Rekordbox looks a lot like Serato now. The biggest change for all users is that performance mode is now free, meaning you can access the full mixing and effects functionality of the performance side of Rekordbox as standard. However, not all hardware controllers will work for free, which we'll come back to later. Second major update is Cloud Library Sync. Finally, you can sync your library in the cloud using Dropbox integration. Once set up, you can decide what files and playlists get synced with Dropbox, and they can be accessed from any computer with an internet connection. That is dope. Point to the bad guys. That's something that I would actually like to see on something like Serato. Integration with Dropbox is a game changer. I've had instances where, you know, I go to a conference and we're hanging out with a ton of DJ friends. We're talking about edits. We're talking about remixes and they're like, hey, can I have that remix? And I'm like, oh, I don't have my DJ computer with me. I only have my editing computer. And for me to be able to access my entire library on Dropbox, that would be awesome. I hope Serato totally rips that off. Essentially what this allows you to do is just migrate between different computers that's something that you can do manually however it's awesome that it's built right within the software speaking of moving computers there's finally a new auto relocate function where missing files can be found automatically by searching any hard drive location that's awesome serato is notoriously horrible when it comes to finding missing files i've had serato actually lock me out and just freeze on me while it's searching for lost files so something like that is cool sync, hardware support for record box dj and more now come as part of a new subscription model. This is it! The free subscription model gives you access to performance mode and export mode for some Pioneer DJ hardware supported, while a core subscription costs £6.99 per month. Mm, okay, so this was made in the UK, so uh, all right, so for us here in the USA, it's gonna be $7.99 for core and creative being uh, 10 bucks, so seven and 10 bucks. So the only thing that core is adding is DVS control and creative mode is adding uh, lyric, video, sequencer, remix effects, cloud sync. Check this out, this is actually a scheme. You're gonna be locked into that $9.99 rate. However, after July 13, you're gonna be paying $15.99. A new app lets users view their whole synced library on their mobile device and change metadata, add queue and loop points, edit the grid and more all from your mobile device. All right, that's pretty cool. Essentially what you can do is you can just pull up your record box app on your phone, set queue points, set loops. That is an awesome feature. However, I don't know how many people would actually use that because we've seen record pools put out apps and I never use those apps. And I know on paper it sounds cool, but I know most of us when we're sitting down to actually set our cue points, we're either doing it live or we do it at home where we're actually messing around on our DJ system. It's something that's awesome to have. I'm just not sure if it's something that a lot of people are going to use. The $6.99 for Core and $9.99 for Creative are introductory prices, 
and will rise to $9.99 and $14.99 respectively. So that was what I was just saying. Good thing he pointed that out. I bet you there's going to be a second wave of DJs being pissed because they missed that fine print. Anyone who subscribes before then will pay the introductory price indefinitely. If oh, okay, it's indefinitely, so it's forever, okay. You also need to upgrade to a Pro Dropbox account, which offers 2 terabyte of cloud storage for £7.99 per month. Okay, pause that. So I actually have Dropbox Plus, and it's actually just a great system to have. I highly recommend Dropbox for your storage solutions. It's just awesome. It syncs up to your computer, no problem, and you have access to all your files, just dragging and dropping like it was just a uh, folder on your computer. It is awesome. Dropbox is great. But Keep in mind that this is not included with your record box subscription. So let's say you are locked in at the highest tier at that 15 bucks a month plus the 10 bucks a month. It's now costing you $25 a month to DJ. And if you want to step up to the professional, you are now going to be paying not $9.99, but $17 pretty much. $17 plus $15, that's $32 bucks. $32 bucks. Damn! I can see why people are pissed. Pioneer DJ have also tweaked Recordbox's design, making the overall interface cleaner and adding a light mode, which inverts the colors to make it easier. Serato did it first. Easier to use outdoors and in sunlight. A new waveform we already had that. called 3 band lets you identify the frequencies much more clearly, immediately spotting the low end, mids, and highs using a blue, white, and yellow system. I don't know much about Rockerbox. I don't know what you guys had before this, but um, as far as coming from a Serato user, we've always had multicolor waveforms forever. And if you didn't have that in Rockerbox before, that is going to be a godsend to you. We'll be exploring the rest of the new features in our other videos, but check them out if you want to dive deeper into Rockerbox 6. Okay, there's a lot to take in. There's a lot to be said. Um, not to play devil's advocate, but I don't want to say I saw this coming, but everybody is going towards that subscription base model. Couple bucks here and there adds up to a lot of money, trust me. However, I will say Pioneer could not have come at a worse time with this announcement. Right now, the DJ industry is hurting. Right now, none of us are working. Clubs are shut down, events aren't happening, so... It's just a horrible time. Now, yes, you can get a 30-day free trial with the new record box. However, you're kicking DJs while they're down. They should have held this announcement to maybe sometime in the summer when this is all gone away and we're back to work. Now, another thing that a lot of these companies are integrating is streaming, streaming services. And these softwares are all jumping on that streaming bandwagon. Now, I don't think DJs are quite yet actively using streaming services let me know down in the comments below if you're personally using things like Tidal, soundcloud or uh beatport whatever these companies have been actively promoting these streaming services and while they're cool being able to pull up any song on the fly i just don't know how many djs are using it and the second thing that you have to keep in mind those services are expensive if i were to pull up beatport link right now you guys can see that it is super expensive we're talking about 60 bucks a month 60 bucks a month for their highest tier. I would be extremely pissed if I had to deal with this too. And I don't think us Serato users are safe either. It's a lot of monkey see, monkey do with record box and Serato. Keep in mind that if you have a record box compatible controller, this will not affect you in any way. This will only affect you if you want to enable some of those features. So yes, you can still perform out at your gigs for free if you bought something like the DDJ 1000, the original one that was only made for record box. And that's going to stay true for any controller that was specifically designed for record box. Serato controllers will no longer work. So if you have something like an S9 and you want to mess around with record box, you are no longer going to be able to do that. You're going to have to actually pay for something like a core subscription so that you can enable record box. In my opinion, I think it's just going to discourage DJs from actually switching over to record box. And I would think that's what they want. I know Pioneer has been making a push. They've been putting out a ton of awesome controllers that don't support Serato because they they want people to switch over to record box and i think doing something like this is essentially going to discourage people from switching over in my opinion it was just a bad pr move on pioneers part to put this thing out 
in light of current world events. It was just bad timing. We saw this coming. I saw this coming. Everybody's going to go subscription based. My YouTube channel is eventually going to be subscription based. So be on the lookout for that. Let me know what you guys think down in those comments below. Is this person going to discourage you from switching over from Serato Virtual DJ Tractor, whatever it may be, to Record Box? And if you were a Record Box DJ, does this piss you off? Does it make you angry? Or are you indifferent about it? Do you not care? Let me know what you guys think down in those comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to like it, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time we do another video like this one. Signing off, DJ Bar. Stay awesome, bros. Peace!